Miss Antrix with Heirs of Legends Media. Today we have the privilege and the pleasure and the honor to be here with Tashina Arnold. How that would be me. Going? That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> so you, Charlotte, today, how are you yes. enjoying Charlotte? I, mean, I always enjoy Charlotte. I've okay. been here a few times. I actually have a lot of friends that moved down here from wow. East Coast. Okay. Yeah. And uh, my husband's family, they're from Greenville, North Carolina. Oh, so okay. Cool. okay. So you're down here with family today. Yeah, well, no, I'm actually here with Microsoft today. Okay. I told family I'll do the next trip. Okay, so I'm Microsoft. Right. Now, I'm here and I was listening to you speak very uh, passionately in regards to Heirs of Legends Media. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 In regards to education and our youth and with Microsoft and Youth Spark. So can you just please uh, explain to me your role okay. with Microsoft and just being an advocate for education for our youth? Definitely. Uh, well, Microsoft just brought me on and when they asked me to be a part of Youth Sparks, I was very excited, of course, because not often do you get up an opportunity to have a, such a huge corporation approach you about helping them out with something as big as this. And right. the reason why I say it's big because hopefully other corporations will follow. Yes. I think it's wonderful that that uh, Bill Gates and his wife have, right. they're, they're very passionate about it. Yes, education. they are. And I had the opportunity to hear him speak, which, which you know, blew me away. Because, you know, you don't often get to hear Mr. Gates right. speak. And, right. you know, exactly. I wish I would have loved to have met him, but I think it's wonderful what Microsoft is doing because it's definitely uh, setting the pace right. for our children. Our children are being separated by education, you know? yes, ma'am. And, and and it starts with the, the economy, you know, with the, the huge change in the economy. I just told someone you have 50-year-old men checking out bags in the supermarket. Right, that absolutely. used to be a kid's job, right. you know. Right. So uh, I got into tech. I call myself a little techie. Because mm -hmm. I, I have like five phones and five computers. <laughs> right. And Microsoft gave me that fabulous service. Right. So okay. I've, been, I've been tinkling with it and they gave me a, a lovely phone. But you know, what incited me was when my daughter was at age three and she picked up my phone and with one thumb she went straight to YouTube. Wow. So we're living in the day and age of where these young people, they're 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 already innately tech savvy. Right. It's like how do we how do we uh, Focus them in, on it and how yes, do we, how do we um, uh, 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 help them and, and give them the opportunity? Right, so exactly. I think it's wonderful what Microsoft is doing. And yes, that the one out of uh, every four four child right. that they, that on the studies that they did here in Charlotte, um, they don't have the same opportunities at, at right. That's very education. true. Education. And so with Microsoft and giving money to a lot of charities and right. you know with Boys and Club uh, Girls Boys and Girls right. Boys Club of America, I think it's wonderful. I mean it takes it takes a village. It and truly does. I it think it's wonderful does. that Microsoft has positioned themselves right. as the leader of that village because the, the the kids need help. Well let me ask you this because you uh, recently stated that you recently got married. Yes. However, prior to that, single mother, being a single mother, mm -hmm. just just give me some just brief insight. <laughs> okay, just uh, how truly how hard, how much strength it requires to be a single mother and to be a renaissance woman at the same time because not only do you act, not only are you an advocate, everybody knows that you have a beautiful voice and you have a band. So how hard was it for you being a single mother and just being able to still handle your business? Uh, very hard, day? very hard, which it is for millions of mothers and fathers, single right. fathers out there as well. Um, you got to learn to ask for help. That's the first thing that I learned is to ask for help. And, uh, I get, my daughter's raised by the village. Uh, my mom, like she's not with my, she's with my mother right now. So we just actually got my mom an email. So this is the first time that she's even had an email address. But we told my mother, look, Elijah, is, she knows more about the computer than you. And if you're going to be her caregiver, you have to step up to the plate. Right. So as it's, it's my responsibility as an actress, it's my responsibility as a parent, it's my responsibility as someone who comes on television all day to be able to represent myself correctly. And, right. it, it, and, and I think with, with most celebrities here that I even see on your board here, I'm actually friends with you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, now she's the deal. We love oh, she's point. lovely. Yeah, she's, she's, she's very elegant. Yes. yes. But, you know, it, it, take, it takes a village. And 
I'm, I'm a grassroots kind of person. Yes. So I, you know, talk to kids. I don't bull crap them, you know, because right. they can they can smell bull crap of right. my right. way. Absolutely. So it's about learning different tricks. Like even with my daughter, I, I taught my daughter how to spell better because I told her, I said, okay, a lot because she was like, mommy, you know, I gave her a phone and she's like, mom, call me. I'm like, no, text me. So I took the spell check off her phone, mm. and so she's like, no, I'm not good at texting, but subliminally she's learning how to Dude, type. Right, and, and, exactly. You know, and write and, mm -hmm. and spell and learn. Exactly. Right. Okay. So me as a mother, I'm still growing right. and still learning different ways to educate my own child. Yes. But um, being in show business so long, you know, I, I decided to, you know, you can't do everything, you can't be everywhere. But right. I decided to dedicate my life to young people and children yes. and young adults yes. because they are our future. As, yeah. as, as, as you know, cliche as that may sound, they are our future. And a lot of times when I speak, I start off the conversation with, okay, are you guys ready to take care of me? Right. And everybody looks at me like, what? Mm -hmm. You know, I said, what happens when I'm 75 and I, can't, mm -hmm. I don't want to work anymore? Right. I can't work right. anymore. Are you ready to take care of me? Yes. Because I'm going to be dependent. On you. Right. So it, 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 it creates a dialogue and mm -hmm. it allows um, children to see beyond what their present situation is. Right. And Absolutely. I'm all about, you know, unfortunately there's a huge educational gap it is with, with, with our kids. And, you know, a lot of single, I just spoke to a single mother uh, just after we were on the dais and you know, she, she feels bad because she works all these jobs so she can't be there to help her daughter with all homework every right, night. You know, there were many missed nights for me, right. you know, helping my daughter with mom. So, I mean, it's just like each one teach one. You just right. do what you can. Absolutely. I'm old school. I, I'm like, I, if I see a kid doing wrong, I'm going to tell him. Right. <laughs> you know? I insert myself. Plenty of times, church folks came and told my mama what we was doing wrong. So I, I totally understand that. Now, let me ask you this, because I know that Microsoft also works in conjunction with helping the, the women and the young ladies, you know, just get into the whole technology. And it is the month of March, and it is Women's Month. Is there any particular, um, I don't want to say, is there any particular problem? with our women or young women that you have taken a liking to? Anything else that you're an advocate for in regards to women? Yeah, you know, I, 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 when I speak to young women, especially young women, um, I, 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 I'm very candid. And, you know, it's like, it's, I tell them at a certain point in life, you have to make a specific decision. Correct. There is a point in life where the world does not stop. The world is going to continue to move on. Are you going to be on the board or are you? Right. Are you going to fall to the wayside, or are you going to be able to fight and, 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 and strive and, and right. really have that fire in you in order to succeed in whatever it is that you want to do? Mm -hmm. um, everybody's not telling me. Everybody's not going to be a rapper. Everybody's not going to be a singer. Right. Everybody's not going to be a celebrity. Everybody's right. not going to do it. So just like a young lady asked today, uh, she asked us a question, and I will ask her, you know, what do you want to be? Right. She said a teacher, and I, it's just good to hear that because you don't hear that often. Right. Right. I don't think teachers are paid enough, so I think they're it's not wonderful. Enough. Yeah, I mean, I told you, you know, my kid is with her teacher more hours in the day than she is she is. Right. With Absolutely. So education is very important. I mean, I, I busted my butt to get through school. Right. Um, you know, I've been in show business all my life since I was uh, three. Real right. Long. Since right. eleven, I officially was in show business. Wow. And, so I've been, I've had a great career, mm -hmm. and I'm still, you know, building my career as well. Yes. But I got my education, and I ended up actually graduating salutatorian of my high school. Wow! Okay. But I went to summer school. I went to after school classes. Oh, I, yeah, I, it's, it's, it's takes a lot of work. It's no laziness work. allowed. I do not allow no laziness, laziness allowed, you guys. <laughs> Again, this is Miss Entries with Airs of Legends Media. Today we were here with Tashina Arnold. Now let me ask you, you're gonna keep your name, Tashina Arnold? You're yeah. gonna drop it, your married it's, name? It's still gonna be Tashina Arnold, but I legally changed it to, to Tashina Arnold Hines. Okay. So legally I'm Tashina Arnold Hines. Okay. So he can't look. He can't leave me. I'm gonna get some of that money. <laughs>
pleasure. Thank you. It was an honor. Thank, Thank you so much. Two times.